Welcome to Southwest Florida Happenings, the show that's giving a voice to the Southwest Florida community. I'm your host, Mary Ann Sopressi, with What's Up Southwest Florida, and joining us today is Lucy Mounts with Summit Massage. Welcome, Lucy. Thank you for having me. I'm and excited to be She's a local here. business owner in town, and yes, we're going to get to hear all about fascinating things about massage. So a lot of people probably don't know this, but you actually have to go to school. Surprise. Isn't that? Yes. To um, be a massage therapist. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so you want to describe a little bit about absolutely. what you have to go through for that? Um, every state has different requirements. The state of Florida requires 500 classroom hours and 100 uh, practical hands-on hours. Um, once you complete that, hopefully satisfactorily, uh, then you go off, you take a four-hour board exam wow. uh, administered by the Department of Health Division of Medical Quality Assurances and that is called the MBLEX, the Massage and Body Work Licensure Examination. Upon passing that, you're reviewed by the board. Hopefully they pass you with flying colors. You get your massage therapy license and hooray, you're ready to go. Uh, but then you actually have to complete 24 hours of continuing education units every two years to renew your license. 12 of those can be done online in the comfort of your own home, but 12 have to be done on site, uh, hands-on classroom. You know, it's very similar. I was a physical therapy assistant at one time. Same thing, 24 hours, two years, 12 years on, 12 hours online. Mm -hmm. The rest had to be the same thing. Yeah. So, you know, it's... Uh, We're highly regulated. Yes, and that's <laughs> how you know a real massage therapist as opposed to some of those others. You, they, your license have to be displayed. Yes. And not only does your license, but if you're in a, in a, a spa type setting, the spa has to have one. Absolutely. There has to be well. an establishment license and each therapist has to have a license. We also carry liability insurance. Um, my location, Summit Massage Therapy, has its own establishment liability and I, as a therapist, have my own liability insurance as well. And I have a girl who works with me. She has her own liability insurance And that's well. And that's how you know a legitimate um, kind of business. Absolutely. So, um, why is it called massage therapy as opposed to a massage one-time cure-all? <laughs> that, uh, that's a little witticism I came up with in response to a sentiment that I hear quite often, which goes a little something like this. You know, I got a massage one time and it didn't fix my chronic sciatica, so I just didn't go back. That's, to me, kind of like saying, you know, I went to chemotherapy once, the cancer didn't go away, so I didn't go back. Right. Uh, therapy, the term therapy in and of itself implies a, a, an ongoing process of treatment to achieve a predetermined goal. Uh, nobody balks at physical therapy, occupational therapy, chemotherapy. But for some reason, people get it in their head that they can go get a massage once and never experience pain again. And it just doesn't work that way. No, and actually, the greatest benefit is ongoing. Absolutely. And, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't seek help for depression and only go once. Right. Or take one pill. Either. Right. Type thing. We're, so, we're trying to circumvent the pill taking. Right. You know, just come see us first. You know, I'm not anti-medicine, but, you know, just try something else before you start taking the medications and, and going under the knife. Right. So you brought some tools of the yes. trade here today. Yes, I've got some bamboo and some basalt stones, which we use uh, for very, um, not only are they kind of luxurious treatments, but they're also very beneficial in a twofold uh, fashion. We use them as tools for us, so it helps save our hands. Um, and then the heat, the, high, the uh, thermotherapy, really helps release the tension in the muscles and the tissues. Um, and it also helps us, you, we can use more force with the bamboo, so if we're having there's a, a real hypertonic area that we're having a tr having problems loosening up. We can grab some tools and, and help break that down. Okay, then you offer a variety of services. I do. Uh, I have three uh, categories of services. I offer, uh, we have therapeutic massage services that are things like sports massage. I do massage for migraines. Those are very uh, uh, specific. Uh, and then I have a relaxation menu, which is uh, your Swedish massage and then I have two, I have the Apex and the Zenith that I came up with which is basically just a Swedish massage with some added perks for some indulgence and then I have specialty services which include the hot bamboo, the hot stone, um, things like prenatal. All right and so uh, where are you located? Uh, not far from where we're sitting um, but actually we're at, we are located inside Gulf Coast Fitness which is uh, at the corner of 41 and Crystal. Uh, the address is 8540 Dayton Avenue. Um, and that's in Fort Myers. 
So, and it's easy to make an appointment, just um, Absolutely. call? Absolutely, absolutely. You can call, uh, email, text, or the number here uh, on display is, is a mobile number, so you can text it. All right, and your website is? Uh, the website is www.summitmassagetherapy, swfl.com. All right, well, thank you so much, Lucy, for joining us. Thanks for I having me. I look forward me. to coming in and giving it a try. And I look forward to seeing you. You better fix me in one time, though. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so this is Mary Ann Sofresi with What's Up Southwest Florida, Southwest Florida Happenings, the show that's giving a voice to the Southwest Florida community. Thanks for watching. See you next time.